some weird stuff going on right now. This whole island's a part of it, but nobody knows it. Hola, Steven. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, muy bien, gracias. ¿Te gusta México? Um, you like it? Yes, I know. I'm, I'm just trying to formulate my opinion. I've only been across the border. A couple of, I, I, I was across the border for a couple of days, and then I was researching a film around Arizona, and I didn't see a lot of it. I mean, I hear fantastic things. You should visit because a lot of the settings um, would re would motivate you or yes. maybe inspire we, you to create a movie. We nearly shot in in. Uh, Mexico actually I oh, can't really? remember why in the end we went to Mauritius but um, yeah I, you know it, it's got that sort of um, that sort of feeling that I really love where there's a lot of people on boats and there's a lot of sun and there's a sand and salt and grit I, I love it it's fantastic um, how did this movie challenge you because it's it's not a conventional thriller mm. it's very different yeah. very Unique. Yes, um, I, I wanted to make it not of a genre and not, you know, part of a pattern, especially. Uh, if I'm directing a film, I normally choose the one, the scripts I've written that are a bit of a challenge, and this one is because what I wanted to do was go through the conventional process of setting up the narrative with the characters and, and the jeopardy, and then take everything away and see what how it then progressed. So you wrote and directed this movie, of course, and I'm sure writers put themselves or their life stories into one of the characters or maybe part of the story. Which one is you? Um, I would love to say Baker Dill, uh, but I don't think I'm Baker Dill. I think <laughs> that there's a bit of uh, Reed Miller, perhaps, um, who uh, is a little bit more studious. Uh, but yeah, I think it is true. I think sometimes you create a character that's as far away from yourself as possible because it is far away and other times I think you you sort of identify with one particular and they become your viewpoint if you like. So how was this story born? Like what was the idea behind it or how was it inspired? It began with I went out on a fishing boat out of St Lucia and the captain of the boat was great and uh, very hospitable until a, a fish was on the line then he became obsessed with the fish. You became obsessed? No, the, the oh, captain. The, oh, okay. I mean, the, the, the deal normally is when you go in a boat is that you pay them money and when the fish is on, they give you the rod. But he wouldn't do that because he was so obsessed. So I went out, I cut the signs with him. I was quite interested and asked a few people about him and he was totally obsessed with catching a particular fish. So I wanted to create a character sort of like that and began to develop a backstory and reasons why he's there. Let's talk about Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway, but Matthew, like he's, I mean, how did you choose him? I mean, why? I mean, we already know why, but he's just incredible. He's, he's a classic. Uh, I, I, I wanted the, the hero to be a hero in the sort of conventional sense, because later on um, we would sort of demolish that. But um, he can be that person. He can be that rugged, closed down, unapproachable male hero. But then when the stakes change, as the twist happens, he's a complex enough actor and sophisticated enough actor, actor to deal with that as well. Well, there are a lot of twists. Yes. Yes, so be prepared. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Gracias. Gracias, Steve.